Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Ebony and I'm here to do a video on option debit spreads. Okay, this video is specifically about how to purchase and sell call debit spreads and put debit spreads. I have been doing this for, I don't know, about seven months now and I'm fairly new at it myself and I'm still learning, but I just wanna teach you guys what I know so far in a very simplistic way. I'll do another video that's more in depth, but I wanted to make this video very short and simplistic. I'll be doing a screen recording, showing you how to purchase a call option or a um, put option, and I'll be showing you how to sell it as well. The debit spread strategy is you know, a lot cheaper than, um, you know, an, another type of call and it has less risk. So I do these weekly and it has been a source of extra income for me, which is lovely. Um, I'm sure nobody is opposed to having some extra income, but you know, if you do get great at it, you can probably do this for a living. As for me, this is not what I do for a living, but it is something that's made me a pretty penny on the side. So let's get into it. Okay, so when you open up your Robinhood account, it'll most likely take you to the home page, but I'm just gonna start from messages. So on the bottom of the screen where you see the magnifying glass, go ahead and click on that. And once you click on that, you can search for the stock you would like to purchase. So in this case, we would like to search for Tesla and it will go ahead and pull it up for me. So now that we're here, we're going to click on trade. And now we're gonna click on trade options. A call option is when we predict that the price of the stock will be going up. And a put option is when we predict that the stock price will be going down. So in this example, we're going to do a call option. So we will select, I think it's going up. We should already have a number in mind of the stock price we think Tesla will go up to. So in the previous screen, we saw that Tesla's current stock price was $844 per share. So we could predict that it's going to $845, $850, $855 per share. Or we can predict that it's going to stay above a certain price that we select on the next screen. So now that we have that number in our head, we're going to select an expiration date. The expiration date determines how long Tesla has to rise to that price or above before the option is no good anymore. So we're going to select the date January 29th and we're gonna make sure that call is selected on the right and make sure that buy is selected on the left underneath the expiration dates. Then go ahead and click on select in the upper right corner and those bubbles on the left will pop up. So these are all the options we have available to us expiring on January the 29th. There will be a line showing the current share price in the middle of all the options that are available to you that expire on the date that you selected. The current share price is $846.77. The call prices below the current share price are called in the money calls and the call prices above the share price are called out the money calls. In the money calls are usually a little bit more expensive than out of the money calls because the likelihood of Tesla being $835 on January 29th will be more likely than it being 860, 865. So those calls will be a little bit more expensive. The prices on the right hand side in the red box, those prices are called premium prices. So that is the price that you will actually pay out of your pocket to control one of these options until the expiration date. So you have to multiply this price by 100. I will get into the whys of that in my next video, but for now, this is just a how-to and a quick instructional video. So yes, if you were to buy a regular Tesla option call for $850, 
the price would be 5703 times 100 so it would be five thousand seven hundred and three dollars wait wait hold up though what if we don't want to pay that much for an option debit spread options are less expensive than regular options because there is a cap on how much you can earn per spread so that's called your maximum profit there is no cap on regular call options which is why they are much more expensive okay so let's get into how to get started purchasing a call debit spread if you haven't clicked on select in the upper right hand corner please do so now I normally like to select in the money calls the calls below the current price so I'm gonna select eight hundred and ten dollars then I'm going to switch the buy tab to sell with debit spread options, you always have two prices. That's why they call it a spread. So my first price will be 810 that I'm buying and the second price that I select will be the one that I'm selling. So I selected $820 as my sell price. So now on the bottom, it says that I have two options selected and I'm going to click that arrow on the right hand side. Before I do that, I just would like to briefly explain what is going on here. So I am buying at $810 and selling at $820. That means that if by January the 29th, if Tesla is at $820 or above, I will receive my maximum profit. So this is my review screen. A debit spread option like this will cost me $552, a lot less than the $5,700 from before. <laughs> so let's talk about max profit. So the maximum profit that you could receive from a debit spread like this would be $448. You will find the difference between both of your strike prices and then subtract the average cost per contract from that and then multiply that number by 100 and that's how you'll get your max profit in any call debit spread that's what you'll do and if you have multiple contracts you will just multiply your max profit by however many contracts you have so if you bought three then you multiply your max profit by three if you have two multiply by two if you just have one then that's just going to be what your max profit is so it'll bring you to this screen and now you're going to type in how many contracts you want so if i just want one that's what i'll type in notice that the numbers are will keep changing as the stock price fluctuates and that's how much it would be if i bought two so you could buy as many as you please um, these prices they vary um with the expiration date you choose or the difference between the stock prices you choose or how in the money you are versus how out the money you are so you can play around with it and find a price that you're comfortable with paying in order to actually purchase this debit spread you'll have to enter in a bid price in the limit price box so if I only wanted to pay $5 for this, I would enter in $5. You usually enter in a number that's in between the bid and the ask price. Before I entered that $5 into the limit price box, there was already a price there that is the suggested price you buy this option for. If you would like your order to be filled right away, I would suggest going 10 or 20 cents more than that suggested price that they already have in the box. Otherwise, if you only want to pay a certain amount, then only put that and you'll just have to wait all day to see if it will actually get filled. So if my limit was $5, then that means I only want to pay $500 per contract. So if the average asking price is more than $500, then I would not get my order filled until the price dropped to that point. What you can do is click on replace order and go back to that screen and enter in a higher bid price, like $5.30 or $5.40 and see if it gets filled then. After you hit review and then you swipe up to submit your order, 
if it is going to be filled, it will say quantity one of one or two of two, however many ordered, instead of zero to one. If it says zero to, of one, then you did not get your order filled. To sell the option is basically the same as buying it, except you're gonna click on close. Then you click on, well, you type in how many contracts you wanna sell. And for the limit price, instead of going over by a few cents, you might wanna go under by a few cents if you're in a rush to get this filled. We will go ahead and do a separate video for puts um, since this video is getting kind of long and I don't want to overwhelm you guys. So I'll do a separate video for puts. So if you've made it this far in the video, then you probably have a way better understanding of how to purchase and sell these types of options. I really hope that it helped. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments for me. Or you can hit me up on Instagram or Facebook. Um, if you have my number, you can text me. <laughs> I'm happy to teach you guys this strategy and I'm happy to spread the knowledge that I do have so you guys don't make the same mistakes as I did. But yes, I will be doing a series. I will be going more in depth about options, all types of options. If you're interested in learning more about options in a very simplistic way like this, then please subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do you have a camera? Come here. Come here, Jimmy. Let me get the camera. Say hi. Say bye.